Action! It'll go somewhere else. Somewhere cheaper. No. Please. When Glenn Close finally decided to produce a 30-year labor of love, she handpicked a director she believed could tell a story with a feminine sensibility, Rodrigo Garcia. I did feel some pressure. You know, I knew this was a lifelong project for her. I didn't want to screw it up. I didn't want to ruin her dream. But also, I connected to the script right away. You know, I thought the story was very simple, but it had powerful conflicts in it. Jesus. You're a woman. You won't tell on me. No stranger to hiding, after growing up in the shadow of the Nobel Prize winning author behind Love in the Time of Cholera, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Rodrigo may have appreciated his father's masterful storytelling skills, but admired his dad's work ethic above all else. My father was a writer and a screenwriter, so yes, everything from novels to movies to telling a good joke and how to structure it, that was a part of our daily bread. The more successful he got, the more hardworking he became. He would write like a, a maniac, and his capacity to concentrate was really uh, remarkable. Instead of writing, Rodrigo chose a visual medium as a successful director of photography, doing his best to steer clear of the inevitable comparisons to his father until, of course, he finally couldn't help himself. I was wondering, Miss Dawes, if you would care to come out for a walk. Are you asking me to walk out with you? For, you know, about 15 years, the idea was to be a director of photography. But increasingly, you know, the more I worked, the more I got more interested in the narrative and, you know, storytelling aspect of it. You know, once I got that bug, there was not, no going back. You don't have to be anything but who you are. Look at how you've survived all these years. You've worked hard and you've saved your money. You've it all stashed under the mattresses at Mr. Novice. <laughs> So the first script that I wrote uh, was called Things You Can Tell Just By Looking At Her. Rodrigo suddenly discovered that looking at her turned into telling her story. And his knack for tapping into the female mind turned the reluctant storyteller into an acclaimed filmmaker. You know, it's a journey for me to put myself in the head of someone else, period, and second, someone else who's you know, the opposite sex. What kind of man would ask a girl to marry him without ever having kissed her? The attention that, you know, Glenn and Janet and the hair and makeup team also has a nomination, and I think it's very, very deserved. So I'm happy. I'm relieved. Being a film director is an incredible privilege. I think you are the strangest man I've ever met.